welcome back to the channel. You join us here in the beautiful Greenwich just by the River Thames and the all important Cutty Sark just behind me. Famous for the 10k in the London Marathon. Cannot wait to be doing that in a few months time. But anyway today yeah it's been a little while. We've got so much to catch up on. What's new in your world? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. We've got so much to catch up on. Everything that happened in the Cheshire Elite Marathon and everything we've been doing since to get stronger from that. Some little changes that we've been making to the training that we'll chat about later on. But for now we're just going to head out at about 10k out towards the O2 for a little fartlek run, a little bit of speed play out there having some fun. So that's it, let's get on with the warm up and yeah we'll see you out on the run in a bit. Right guys just heading through Greenwich Uni on a little warm up just going around about 4.45k pace. As with all the runs, we'll put the miles on the screen as well. But yeah, what's the new with you? Big news for us. We've just launched three brand new hats that are now available on the website. I've got the Waves hat on today. And we've got the uh, Jazzy Pink and the uh, London hat as well. So check them out on the website. Now shipping and new technical tees and singlets as well. So proud of this. So rather exciting to have a race on Thursday, a 10k. I'll put the details on the screen now. I can't even remember what it's called, but it's up near Loughborough in uh, Leicestershire. And yeah, super excited for that. So today we're just doing a bit of a fart like run. Fart like means speed play in Swedish and it's just about having some fun really. So just pick a couple of random points anywhere and then just really up the pace around about sort of 90% effort between those two points. You do it as much or as infrequently as you like. There's no rules. It's just about going nice and easy and then upping the pace. Build it into your as you do any fart like running. Just beautiful views here. Oh, I miss this when we leave London. If we ever leave London, just coming up to the O2 there. And yeah, have you been doing any races? We had the reunion 5K, lots of run through races here. In the UK at the weekend, what have you been doing? Have you got some big ones coming up with all everything easing? Yeah, let me know. Hopefully, see you there. I've got a very packed race calendar, which we'll talk about in some future videos. Right guys, first little fart leg section here past the driving range. See who can win, me or Sarah filming here on the bike. And relax. Form looking all right, I suppose. I don't know, I haven't seen the footage. What do you think? Time for the second bit of fart neck from this post to the weird boat thing up here. Let's go! I think it's called Slice of Life or something. Just this uh, abandoned very slice of reality. Right, let's have some nice more B roll. That's some fun music. Let's go! Seven k into the run, about four fifteen pace overall. Enjoying this amazing weather we're having it now. But anyway, let's have a chat about. She let's just pause the watch. We have a proper chat about what happened at the marathon. Um, yeah, a few weeks ago now. So yeah, basically in the build up to the race, I was getting some really bad pains in the old quad here, and I really wasn't sure what it was all about. It would kind of come and go a little bit, but pretty much overall. It's just really bad. So I went to see, obviously, go and see my physio, massage therapist, they're a bit, just didn't really know what to say. 
try and sort of massage it out hopefully it will go away but it didn't it, we, we still traveled up to Wales um, and just before the race it was just so so bad um, and I wasn't like limping or anything but anyway we started the race just thought what do we got to lose we'll give this a go and it just got progressively worse throughout the race the race actually went pretty well obviously I didn't finish um, but then it kind of got into my head my breathing went all through the just through the roof I was just getting a bit like sort of very sort of mild panic attack that started coming on because I don't want to do myself any damage but I don't know what this is and I'm getting worried about it a lot of what I'm going through at the moment is all around health anxiety stuff I get pains in my body pains across my chest I think my heart is in all sorts of difficulties I think I'm going to get a heart attack I think I'm going to die it's horrible it's really it's not it's just so irrational it's the whole thing with this mental health thing you just can't think straight through everything you're going Going through and I've no doubt been brought on a lot through the COVID and the pandemic and just being scared of all the media stuff all the time so that's kind of where we're at but anyway so I just decided let's just pull the pin on this race it's not worth it we've done no proper training for this race at all um, and I hadn't I hadn't really done any sessions I hadn't done any proper workouts for it at all I just wasn't anywhere near mentally prepared even if I had some good fitness not mentally prepared chucking all of these mental health things as well and it was just a bit I would have wanted to give it a go and, I, and I'm really happy I did but it was just a little bit too much so that's where we're at fast forward a few weeks later I came back I had an MRI scan on my leg it found absolutely nothing wrong with it and long, long story short again it's just more stress and anxiety stuff that's causing physical pains in my body and I'm just working through that it's feeling a lot better now since I got the scan result and yeah having to learn about it as hundreds of thousands of people are going through this as a result of the pandemic and stuff as I am but yeah standing here now on the banks of the river feeling a lot better about life in general yes it's a little bit of a roller coaster ride up and down but I think we're pretty much through the worst of it now and looking forward very much for the next few weeks thank you so much for all the support you give me I'll always talk about issues that I'm facing I'm going through I think it helps so much so we can all support each other through these difficult times for much brighter happier times ahead if you want to ask any questions let me know down in the comments if you want to send me a dm i'll do my best to try and get back to people as much, much as i can so thank you so much for the rest of the video we're going to talk about fitness and training and getting back in shape to be running how we want to be running so let's talk about that in a bit right let's finish the run. There we have the run done 10k 42 45 i don't know what the pace that pace it is i'll throw it up on the screen it doesn't matter it's just a little bit of fun let's jump up here oh, and take in the lovely views over canary wharf and the isle of dogs right let's get back in happy with that as always let me know how your running is going i do love to hear down in the comments what is happening with you. Right, a little bit of a warm down. I will chat about everything we change. See you in a bit. Well guys, back inside now. And yeah, you join me on the bike. Uh, this is like what's called a Watt bike. Atom, and yeah, starting to use it more and more for some cross training, which I'm not really enjoying. I hate doing cross training, but unfortunately it really is a bit of a necessary evil to run as much as I do want to run at the moment. So I'm sure you might notice a lot of real elite athletes doing some incredible things at the moment off the back of a lot of cross training and not that much running. And obviously I don't want to be running less, but as I get older and things like that, I need to increase this amount of uh, cross training that I'm going to be doing. So I've got a lot of respect for anyone that can get on Swift and just sit here for hours and hours. It really is mind numbingly boring in my eyes. But yeah, we've been doing a bit more of this and some actual cross training in the gym and some more strength work. As yeah, I just cannot get by on just running alone, unfortunately, which is what I'd love to do. And I love it. And I've got some, a lot of people really look at the amount of running I do and think, how can you do that every day? But I just love it so much, getting out there and seeing the world go by. And it's just, yeah, I can't think of anything else in the world I'd rather be doing. So at the moment, just using it really just for about 30 to 45 minutes just spinning reasonably easy in running terms you call that it's like zone two training literally just to be flushing the lactic lactic acid out through my legs so using it to flush it all through and yeah build a little bit of fitness as well and strength without having that impact on the roads 
So it's not like I want to reduce my running volume, I just want to complement it a little bit better and get stronger, reduce those niggles by spending time on the bike and on the cross trainer and in the gym. So that's it guys, I'm off to finish this cycle. We're we'll doing about 30 minutes today, reasonably easy. My cycling fitness is not great. But if you've liked this video, please like, share, and share with your friends. Check out the new hats and the new tees, technical tees on the website as well. Oh, I've got to change gear, going downhill. Yeah, thank you guys. Your support means so much to us. We'll be back more regularly with some videos coming up soon. Hope you're doing well. And me, Sarah, and Kiki. And Sarah has her 50 mile race at the weekend. So check her out. She's just uploaded a new video about that as well. Right. We'll see you in the next one.